Greetings. When we are away or far away, these two dominating words, far and away, uh, from something, from a certain place, so it's about location, not necessarily motion, but location being far from something, or not really in necessarily far, but away from, away from something, uh, then we use the ending, uh, then we use the ending to, to. Uh, it appears in different instances, uh, slight changes to the uh, vowel in the middle happen, but that's not a very crucial thing about it in general. Uh, if you use this one all the time, it will be understood sometimes. You will uh, intuitively find throughout your learning process that it changes uh, as far as the middle vowel a little bit, but is not really important for the meaning, just for uh, choosing the right option for the right word. But uh, you will understand because you will be looking for something like this. And when you are faced with a noun that has a little different form than this, you know it still has the same tall meaning away from something, but but with that particular noun, for sound and uh, harmony uh, reasons, it was changed, this suffix. So this suffix is added to noun, so you want to say away from something. So uh, let me give a few examples. So for example, messe, messe vayok. So it means uh, I'm far. Ohasto, ohasto. Now, messe vayok is I'm far. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. This is like a sentence, okay? Ohas, ohas is house, the house, okay? And to is that away from. So we have has, so I'm far from house, but the from meaning can only work <coughs> thanks to our suffix to at the end, at the very end. Okay, so ohas just means house. And you cannot just say, because there's no from preposition uh, right here. You have to use this suffix and put the to at the end of, attach this to to the house word, to the has, to create a far, um, away from house, out of just house. That's the entire thing. You had house, has, which means house, and you created has, to, and it means from house, away from house, okay? From house is yet another different case, but away from house. So not uh, necessarily like motion away from, but it's location not uh, at the house, okay? Location away from the house. Not directionally, but uh, locationally. Okay, so has to. Thanks to this, this means away from the house, not in the vicinity of it. So that's it for the first example. And the second one, again, we'll be using this to suffix is Tavon Tavon van van Ofato So this means uh, he is uh, away from the tree Tavo means away Okay, but the from meaning is again this tall. So this 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 stays. The tall stays added to this noun fa, which is tree. Fa fa just short fa is tree. When uh, added declinated, and the suffix is added, the fa becomes long like this. So that's the change. Tall one of fa tall. Okay, so this means away. He is. And then alpha is um, the tree, but alpha tall is from the tree. Okay, so thanks to this tall means uh, away from. So that's it. Uh, it's about location, away from something. To which, to the word expressing which, you add the tall suffix to uh, indicate it.